everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Plans with Amanda. We are planning and decorating the currently page for July in my gratitude and hand lettering planner. I use this planner to hand letter uh, something I'm thankful for on the monthly view of the of each month. And then the currently page, I'll just put a quote or scripture and decorate it to coordinate with this. And then the weekly pages, I uh, pick a theme and decorate and then hand letter quotes and scriptures that speak to me. Um, if you've never seen me plan in this planner before, I hope you stick around and watch this video and check out my other videos in the playlist. I put this all in one playlist so that you can go back and look at the videos from week to week. And so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to decorate this page to match this uh, divider. And each month that turns out to be using uh, the Seasons of Color sticker books because that's what this planner is. And I have the large and the regular, so let's go ahead and get started. This will get franken planned onto this one because I actually franken plan horizontal pages into this planner. And um, if you go back and watch my other videos, you'll be able to see why. So actually, I already have a quote picked out. Usually I decorate and then I will write in my quote. Um, but today I think I wanna do it a little different. I wanna write the quote in and then decorate around it. And I've chosen a pen from my uh, Rytec sign brush pen package that uh, is, this is the vintage package. Um, I'll link it down below if it's still available. I do get these off of Amazon. Um, but the, the quote that I'm uh, gonna hand letter today is, uh, it's actually a Bible verse from Ecclesiastes. It's how sweet is the daylight and how pleasant it is for someone's eyes to behold the sunshine. I always like to pick out a quote or something that goes along with the divider. And this one says sunshine in summertime. So I wanted to find something that would go with that. And so that's what I found. So let me go ahead and um, we're just gonna go ahead and, and hand letter it on here. Usually I'll fast forward through this part. So I like how that turned out. Um, but the reason why I wanted to write it first was so that I could kind of let it flow on the page and not have to worry about fitting it in and running out of room. So I thought I got, I thought I would give that a try and I do like how it turned out. So let's go ahead and decorate. And um, from these sticker books, there's obviously all four seasons. So, and they're all kind of all mixed together. They're somewhat sectioned off, but not really. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this book. And then in this book, um, let's see what we have. It's got the same one there. Summer State of Mind. Our divider says sunshine and summertime, so we don't want to use that. But we could pull in these line arts uh, florals. Those are really pretty. And then I think in this book we have some paper stickers. There's a little bit, another one on clear. Uh, here's the paper ones that will match. So, just need to decide if we want to mix and match the paper and the clear, or if we want to stick with one or the other. Um, I kind of like the idea of using these paper ones because the divider, um, they've got really big um, flowers on it, and it's got really big flowers. So, I think the big paper ones will look good. So, let's go ahead and maybe pull some of these in. And also while I've got it, I'll go ahead and pull this screen in the leaves so we can maybe fit them together. I was just seeing if I could cover up that. Actually, I'll go ahead and white it out. And I'll go ahead and white this out since we don't really put the holidays on here. Something like that maybe. We 
could still pull this in. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see. I probably won't cover that corner uh, area up since it's already there. Thinking about maybe I could tuck these in around the around the quote a little bit. Try not to hit the. There we go. That might work. that just for a minute. Go ahead and trim this one. Go ahead and just pull this in right here. A little bit of white out. And I'm just going to bring it right up to the edge of that. Let's stick that down just for a second. <laughs> it's a little bit crooked where I trimmed it, so I'm just going to bring it off the page just a little bit. And then that way I can trim it towards straight. bring in some something at the top because it's a little bit uh, bare up there. Um, we've got some more of these paper stickers here and some scraps. So let's go ahead and just cover this one up. It's kind of sticks out there like a sore thumb since it's just by itself and kind of fill it in with some other stickers. We're going to pull this one in up here. It kind of brings the bigger flowers up. And then, let's see, I think that'll work.
think I want to put this in right here on the corner. Okay, so I like it. It's a little bit open right through here. Uh, one thing I could do is pull in some of the, the line art stickers. I'm not sure what book they're in. Maybe they're in this book. Yeah, here they are. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, I like that. Kind of like that. Yeah, you can kind of fill it in with this a little bit. Try to get a little yellow down here too. That looks good. Okay. I'll do that there. I was trying to get a little bit of the line art stickers right through here. Let's see. Tell you what, let's do. Let's switch these. I think this would be better down here. I'm just kind of blend it in where I've cut it there. Yeah, and then I can bring this up here. Just like that. Yep, I like that better. This one in right here. Perfect. All right. I like it. I think we're done. Um, let's get our punch. I'm just going to do the big Happy Planner punch since I have pretty much every hole needs to be uh, cut. <laughs> Sometimes my punch will stick, so I have to use my scissors to pop it, uh, pop them down, but we didn't have to do that this time. All right, and we need to Franken plan. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this page out with my Tombow uh, mono adhesive. I'm just going to run my tape runner all along the page. Usually I get my wax paper out to do this, but I didn't. That's okay.
All right. And so I'll just line it up as best I can between the punches. And it usually lands pretty well. There we go. Let's put it in the planner. All right. I love it. It's a little bit busy, but that's okay. The whole thing's busy. <laughs> I like it. I hope you do too. If you do, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Bye.